In this lesson, we're gonna play our first chord. All right, so you've been playing single strings and single notes from the beginning of this. We're picking exercise, we're playing one note at a time. And in the warm up we just did with our left hand, one note at a time. But chords are three or more notes or strings strummed at the same exact time. I'm gonna show you the easy version of the chord G. It isn't the full version, there's other things we can add, but I'm gonna start with the easy version just so we can get used to it before moving on to more complicated things. The way we know how to play G is when we look at the little chart right here. It looks just like how you read guitar tabs, except the main difference is that it's not showing you how to play a piece of music or how to play a warm up. It's actually showing you where you place your fingers on the guitar to then play the chord. It's just like a map basically of the map of G. <laughs> how do I play G? Where do I put my finger? So as you can see, the first fret is empty. It's the one farthest to the left. It's showing you the fretboard, basically. This is what it's showing you, the fretboard. The first string is still on top, the sixth string is still on bottom when you're reading it, but when you're playing on the guitar, it's opposite for you, just as a reminder. So that first and second fret have nothing in them, no fingers. But if you count over, one, two, three, in the third fret, there's a number. There's a number three, and it's on the first string. Well, that is actually the finger number you will use. And I know it's confusing because it's also the third fret, but when it comes to the numbers, when you're reading how to play a chord, the numbers that it gives you are the finger numbers only, not the fret numbers, because the frets are actually physically shown in the picture. It just so happens we are playing in the third fret with the third finger <laughs> right now. And this will become more clear as we play more chords. So what you do to play G is you take your third finger and it said first string, right? It's on the first string in the third fret. And then, so once you place it there, you make, you make sure you get the string out. And then with your right hand, you count up one, two, three, four, okay, up. make sure you're on your fourth string or you can just eye it and then strum down all four strings make sure you're hitting all four strings strumming directly down if you hear this sound your first string isn't coming out or you hear another string not coming out adjust your fingers accordingly so what i was doing with my left hand to make that come out is i'm just not pressing hard enough so i'm gonna i'm gonna press hard and get that out. And then play all four strings. A thing you want to confirm every single time you're playing a chord at first is that before you start strumming even, play each string. Is each string coming out? Even if you don't have to press a finger on it. And then go, okay, yes. Yeah, sounds so good. Then you can just strum down, down, over and over again. Make sure you're only playing these four strings because adding these strings in, it's not part of the G chord so it doesn't sound good. So this is why when we're only playing with our third finger in the third fret, we're going down four strings. The full chord has all six strings. We'll add other fingers from there. And you might be asking, okay, why don't we use my first or second finger in this because it's easier to use to press down, but the full chord of G places your finger, your third finger right there. So you, we're just getting used to where our third finger is gonna go for the full version of G. 